The number of South Sudan refugees in Uganda, Kenya, Sudan and Ethiopia is nearing 700,000. Ethiopia hosts over 250,000. With 90% of new arrivals being reported to be women and children, the World Health Organization is warning of the spread of communicable diseases within the camps and to the host communities. The risk for other communicable diseases is also very high, uh, particularly meningitis, malaria, leishmaniasis, guinea worm. We saw an outbreak of hepatitis E in the region last year, dysentery uh, and typhoid fever. All these are endemic uh, with high prevalence in the neighboring uh, South Sudan. Some of the South Sudan refugees living in the western region of Ethiopia now are homeless after the past rains led to flooding of their camps. The United Nations Human Commission for Refugees, UNHCR, says that 50,000 refugees urgently need a new camp. The refugees need to be relocated before the end of April when the rains begin. Refugees are visitors that don't say when they are coming. And there are visitors that don't say when they will go. So while we are today talking about 700,000 refugees, when they will leave, we don't know. Finding the land with the right conditions to set up another refugee camp has been a challenge. Several sites that had been identified immediately after the rainy season of 2014 were subsequently declared unsuitable. With the suspension of the South Sudan peace talks, there is a likelihood of an escalation of violence in South Sudan, hence an increase in refugees. As such, the UNHCR is requesting the Ethiopian government to provide even more land to set up more refugee camps. Koleto Anjoy for Press TV in Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa.